I don't think I know of any music genre that relies on one particular type of instrument. And it would be kind of silly of me to say that Big Room does rely on specific synthesizers. But the thing is that Big Room was developed, um, was born using specific synthesizers. So although DAWs come with an abundance of synthesizers and presets and stuff that you can use uh, to create the sounds you need in Big Room, you may want to give yourself a head start by using those exact synthesizers, right? Why make it hard on yourself unless you're a real sound geek and like to create your own sounds from scratch? These three synthesizers that I'm going to show you are actually uh, considered essential in the creation of Big Room, the sound of Big Room at least. First of the three is Silent One by Leonard Digital. This is probably used the most. There's a whole universe of Silent One presets online you can buy. Different sound designers and developers sell those. And it comes with a lot of useful presets for Big Room uh, right out of the box. Very big sounds. Let's go through a couple basses. So that's Silent One. If you haven't heard of this one before, you should really check it out. It's made by uh, Leonard Digital. It's a Dutch developer, by the way. Next one on the list is Nexus 2. And it was developed uh, by ReFX together with Ventions. And Ventions is um, the guys from Germany uh, with sound designer Manuel Schleiss. And I think you could say he's partly responsible for the way that Big Room sounds because of the sounds that he designed for uh, the Nexus instruments, Nexus 1 and 2. For instance, this one. Uh, let me get another one. See? Nexus is not so much a synthesizer as it is a sample player. The sounds you get with Nexus are created using different synthesizers. So who knows, maybe they're created using Silent One, or the one I'm going to show you next. Let me go to the pianos. Very famous um, EDM piano is the uh, Octave Abba piano. Most of the presets are uh, loaded with uh, delay and reverb. You can turn those on and off right here. So next one on the list is actually uh, one of the newer kids on the block. Uh, I don't think this was available uh, when Big Room was born around 2010, but it is used a lot at the moment in Big Room. It's Serum by Transfer Records or Xfer Records. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it's XFER Records. Uh, this is Steve Duda. He's also the creator of the LFO tool that I'm going to show you later on in the course. But this one is used a lot at the moment because the sound it generates is so useful in Big Room. Let's go through a couple presets right away. Braveheart. I think I use this in this track. Yeah, I did. Very, very useful sounds, and they are so ready to go. There's hardly anything you have to do to make them sit in the mix. So that's uh, Serum, and Serum is a wavetable synth, so it's actually a synthesizer uh, as opposed to Nexus, uh, just like Silent One, but uh, this one uses uh, wavetables to generate the sound, uh, where Silent One uses um, virtual analog oscillators. Okay, so those are the synths that you might consider essential for the creation of uh, Big Room. Even if you can only afford one of these, you're so much better off than using only your stock DAW synthesizers, because these particular three are really geared towards the creation of big room sound.